Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to result if you're coming across an issue with your Snap application on your Windows 11 computer. And it says that no available camera input, device is unavailable or being used by another application. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu. Type in settings, best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select privacy and security. On the right side, you want to scroll down underneath app permissions and select the camera app. And you want to locate snap in here. And you want to go ahead and toggle that to the on position. So make sure that the camera permissions have been enabled. So this master control should be turned on up at the top. And then go down to the snap camera and make sure that is turned on as well. So make sure both of those are correct here. Another thing you can try here, open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot. Best results should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath other, select the camera troubleshooter and the run button. And then I recommend following along with the prompts here. And then hopefully that is able to get a resolution for you. And then finally, one more thing we can try here as well. We can just close out of all that. Open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt, right click on it, and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash, scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and then you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to help resolve your camera-related issues. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.